Have you been in touch with a lot of the guys since Saturday at all? Yeah, I mean, I've been talking to D, Simmons, uh, Robert, uh, all of them, just uh, talking about the chances if I come here and just getting some advice with you, just them uh, telling me about the draft process, uh, process and just enjoying the process. What's the conversations with him be like? You know he's a character, yeah, yeah. as you already he's know. A, he's a joke, too, so uh, just being with him on uh, really uh, – He's a, he's a good dude, though. At the end of the day, he wants the best for you. And uh, that's all it is, really. Uh, him just cracking jokes and just telling me, uh, like I said, giving me advice for this this whole weekend. Did it feel like family? You yeah, know, with all those sure. guys? Just coming in there, uh, then watching my workout made it feel even better, just knowing it's just running the organization. So uh, having them there, it made me relax a little bit more. And uh, just being able to talk to them after about uh, just how they did through it. And, uh, them telling me I did a good job. Just you, kind of fun. you came to a Sixers game. What was that atmosphere like? And were you there more than once, or did you just come to the one game? No, I came to one game against Brooklyn, and um, that atmosphere was crazy. You know? It means though it was that uh, time of the season, and still had those many fans there. Uh, it was pretty cool just to see that. You I talked about goals. I'm like, you know, you say you could just. You know, go by the goals you and your family have. What are your goals? My goals, uh, first of all, is to be the best young man and basketball player I could possibly be. But uh, coming in, I want to win rookie of the year. Uh, I got a pretty high goal for myself to come in and be the MVP. Uh, I set my goals high because uh, I want to put in a lot of work to still achieve them. So. What kind of personal competition? A lot of great point guards in this draft. Yeah. Personally, what kind of competition is that like among you guys? Uh, I mean, we're all competitors. Coming in here, um, everybody wants to compete against each other. Everybody wants to prove they're the best. So, uh, Coming in, this whole draft class competitive, and then already in the league, you can see the guards competing every night. You got to go against a great guard and great players every night, so that, that speaks for itself. Marco, with uh, the draft being tomorrow, is this kind of still surreal for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been busy uh, ever since I got here, so really, uh, I haven't got a chance to sit down and really think, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, really, uh, and I don't think it's really going to hit me until probably Monday or Sunday, where I really get a chance to sit down and realize that I'm really a professional basketball player and I'm doing what I love. So uh, right now. I'm just blessed. I pray and I wake up and uh, I just go about my day. What are some things we can expect to see you wearing on the red carpet tomorrow? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to have a nice suit, a customized suit. Uh, I think you uh, pay attention to my footwear. Uh, I got some custom-made shoes that I don't think nobody ever had before. So. Nice. Yep. Mark, out. Well, how much did you know about the process? How much did you follow along? Did you care when you were a little bit younger these last few years? Uh, well, actually, I've been saying trust the process because I didn't even know about Philly, but me, I got cut from JV, so staying at the same high school, uh, big, the big thing we used to say back home is just trusting the process and not transferring to school, so I didn't really know about the same trust the process with Philly until um, probably my senior year going on to college, and when I started watching basketball, I seen the tweets and all that about it, so uh, really, uh, I, I thought I came up with it at first, but then uh, <laughs> I found that out, so it's what, what, what do you think of it, and like, what, how, do you, how has Joel has spoken with you about that, and like, how it's become a thing? No, nah, he just makes the joke about just trusting the process, and uh, of course, like, I, I trust the process, not even talking about with Philly, but like I said, just going through JV and everything like that, so. What do you think about all the attention that the ball's got and his family? kind of in a sense taken away from attention that you could be Oh, no, I'm not worried about it. Uh, everybody's going to have the attention that they need, and uh, they're marketing themselves. That's what you're supposed to be. I'm, I'm marketing myself the way I do, and they're doing for whatever I'm happy for. So. What's it take some pressure off of you that so much that you're focused on? Uh, kind of, you can put it that way, but uh, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm just blessed to be here, and uh, all the attention I'm getting right now, I'm, I'm happy for it. What's the biggest challenge going to the NBA for you, thinking about for your game? The, big, the biggest challenge, uh, I think it's going to be more off court, uh, just keeping the people that's not for me away, and uh, that's going to try to get stuff from me. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge. Stuff on the court is just hard work and dedication. Um, stuff I've been doing since I was little, so really on the court, I don't think it's going to be any big adjustment. Just keep doing what got me here, working hard every day and believing in God. Jeff, what are some of your favorite music artists to listen to before game? Uh, J. Cole, Lil Wayne. Uh, I listen to a lot of old songs. I want to be like Sam Cooke, Anthony Hamilton. So it's a mixture of a lot of people.